Bonjour. This is Sleepy Celestial. Now let's get right into this. So guys, I wanted to talk about this for a while now. Now that we're done with the gymnastics and I explained the situation that has been happening. Now I wanted to give some commentary before we jump into track and field. Now like I mentioned before and I was explaining that to one of my good um, YouTubers that I just met. Um, his name is Running Factory and I was explaining to him that um, from what I was hearing the track that they just designed for the Paris Olympics is super fast and it's twice as faster than the um, track that we saw in Tokyo Olympics and um, that is very shocking um, every time they tend to change the color of the track that could only mean one thing one they putting new materials on the track where the responding of the athletes energy and um, you know weight system falls with the track itself when you have a bouncy track it's considered as a fast track so when you have a track that is responsive of your needs I would say um, it gives you more back than you receive um, it's actually better um, so when you're looking at a track that is reconstruct and the way that they designed it is definitely going to be a super fast track and depending the, the the closing space of the track itself plays a part into like the headwind the legal times and all that stuff so all these um, different things that goes on to, to the track plays a part in how the design of the track is designed so when you have a combination of those two things the track is going to be super fast so the track color for the paris olympics is purple which is very reminiscing that i was saying that for the um lsu uh uniform that shakari richardson wore and i think that is very something's telling me that that's going to play a part into her winning but i don't know it's just a speculation but so far i know track and field has kicked off yesterday august 2nd but it looks like track is gonna be very intense especially coming up um i just want to say like for the mechanics of how they design the track itself it's made out of this core sea corals and rubbery texture and then when they mix those two things together you got the speedness of the track um, from what I see it's also a nine lane track which means it's gonna be even better when you see the athletes run so the less the humidity mixed with the the wind that the athletes are receiving from the front or the back end able to have a either a wind aided time or a solid 2.0 or a 1.8 or even like a no head meter win all that plays a part into how fast the track is gonna be um, this is amazing to, to think about when you think about the mechanics of track and field and how designing a track fits the position of how fast the athlete is gonna run we even saw that at the Tokyo Olympics when Elaine Thompson Hira broke the Olympic record that track was super super fast so looking at what the athletes are gonna do this year either there's gonna be three or two world records that's gonna be broken so guys without further ado we will be starting track and field after this and I'll see you guys in the next video like I said um, our goal is to hit 1k and we're almost there and I just pray that the more you guys subscribe, the more you can see what the potential of the um, of the channel, what it might be. So without further ado, bye bye guys.